Good afternoon. I'm Justin Michaels. We break into your afternoon news because the James Whitey Bulger trial has just uh, uh, ended for the day. It's been a day of gripping testimony, interesting evidence, and even an outburst in the courtroom. And for all of this and more, we join now our uh, Alicia Palumbo, who has been in the courtroom tweeting all day long. And Alicia, uh, Kevin Weeks was on the stand today. And, and you, you say in these tweets that there was a, quite an outburst between uh, Whitey Bulger and Kevin Weeks. Of course, he is a former associate and confidant. That's right, and this was the biggest outburst of the trial so far. If you remember, Bulger has had three such outbursts where he's sworn in open court. This was by far the loudest and the most tense. What prompted it is Kevin Weeks was being pushed under cross-examination by defense attorney J.W. Carney about these murders. If you really cared that five people were murdered, and, and Kevin Weeks basically said there were five people murdered. We were killing rats, and I was sitting next to two of the biggest rats. At that point, Bulger whipped his head around to Kevin Weeks and hissed at him, you suck. Weeks shouted back, F you, and then Bulger replied back, F you, and Weeks said, what are you going to do, almost challenging him. That's when the U.S. Marshal stepped in, the judge called for order in the courtroom, and she admonished both Bulger and Weeks. It was a very, very tense moment here in court, which is, it's been a tense uh, bit of testimony here as Weeks has been under cross-examination, very tough cross-examination by the defense. Justin? Well, and Alicia, I'm looking here. A lot of the things that uh, looks like Kevin Weeks was talking about uh, dealt with columnist Howie Carr looking at that person's house like a graveyard. I mean, very gripping testimony. What were some of the exchanges like? Uh, were there any nonverbal exchanges between the two as they were talking about these types of things in court? They had really tried to avoid each other's stare. There were times when Kevin Weeks would uh, look directly at Bulger when Bulger wasn't looking. In fact, when Weeks was asked to leave the witness stand and go and look at some of these weapons that were on the table, right in front of Bulger, walking right by him, Bulger actually turned his head to the side so he wouldn't have to look at Weeks. So it's been much of that. There have been a few times where uh, Bulger has seemed to kind of stare at Weeks when he was talking about the murders. Uh, but most of the time, they tried to avoid each other's stare. This was a time when Bulger wasn't going to back down. It was almost like you could see the two of them just back in the day, if they were to have a dispute like this, it, it was very intense. And uh, Alicia, were there any other things, aside from that huge outburst, probably took the entire courtroom by surprise, including the security, like you mentioned, anything else that stuck out to you? I mean, you've been there day in and day out. Uh, you know, what was today like after that outburst? Did it calm down a little bit, or was there always that tension in the room? It was still very tense because shortly after that, Carney wrapped up his cross-examination. There was a very, very quick redirect uh, from the government, and then Weeks was excused as a witness. This was right near the end of the day, and, and Weeks left without really looking at Bulger, and Bulger didn't look at him. Uh, there was a sidebar right after that. We don't know what the judge and attorneys were talking about uh, in that, but presumably about this outburst. I know the judge, like I said, has admonished Bulger three times for swearing in open court. Uh, so she could essentially tell him that he can't be here for the proceedings if he can't control himself, but she didn't do that, at least not to our knowledge, because this was all said in sidebar. One interesting thing actually before this outburst was that Bulger almost seemed to threaten defense attorney J.W. Carney when Carney asked what he did when someone called him a rat. And Weeks said back, why don't you call me one outside when it's just me and you and see what happens? So if that just gives you a flavor of what this testimony was like, it was extremely tense even before this outburst and, of course, during and after the outburst. Now, something else I noticed in, uh, in some of your most recent tweets uh, uh, dealt with money. And, of course, uh, when you're talking about any mob-related case, money is a huge part of it, probably chief among all the things dealing in the mob. They're always wealthy, right? Whether you're looking at a movie or in real life, these are, are wealthy people paying people great sums of money to do different things. And uh, Kevin Weeks talked about the amount of money he made from Bulger. That's right. In this morning's testimony, he talked about how he probably made more than a million dollars, possibly even two million dollars working with Bulger. At one point, he even said that Bulger was like an older brother to him and that it was tough for him to be testifying here uh, in front of his friend. Clearly, they, they really don't feel like that at this point in the testimony, but that's what he said earlier today. Uh, it was clear the two were extremely close. They spend about 20 years together every day, side by side. Uh, really working together in, in all these crimes, according to Kevin Weeks, dealing with drug deals, extortion, money laundering, and even murder. So uh, it's definitely, this witness has definitely have an, had an impact on this trial. And Alicia, we only have a few more seconds. What are we looking forward to tomorrow? 
At this point, they haven't been able to give us a heads up on who's on the witness list next. I know that coming up shortly will be Stephen Flemmy. Uh, obviously, he was uh, Bulger's partner, allegedly, and also allegedly an informant. Um, he is in prison. He will be coming here to testify under his plea deal, which spared him the death penalty uh, in two other murder cases out of state. All right, Alicia Palumbo, it sounds like your voice is failing you. We will let you go. Thank you for your tweeting and information here live on the air. We appreciate it very much. And as always, stay with NECN, also NECN.com, for continuing coverage of the James Whitey Bulger trial. Now back to your afternoon news already in progress.